Hey guys, this is DJ Vu, and this video I'll show you guys really quickly FL Studio Automation, how I commonly use it. This won't be an in-depth tutorial, but I'll be linking some resources down below for some other tutorials you can go to for some really, really totally comprehensive courses. This is just to show you 90 to 95 percent of the tricks and tips I use for FL Studio Automation, and I rarely use all the other ones. So we'll get right into it. First trick set up any FL animation is you want to figure out what the variable is you want to tweak. So let's say, okay, we have our 4x4 kick here. Get it going. I say, okay, I have it in my playlist, but I want it maybe not just be consistent the entire time. I want to automate the volume going up. Go to my volume knob here, little one you see here. Right click it, go to create automation clip. And you get this little... <clears throat> Go figure, automation click. And I apologize in advance, got a little bit of a cold, uh, so my voice sounds just amazing today. Anyways, getting back to the kick, we have what we have our little automation clip here. You can set, if you want to make it quiet the loudest, you'll take, go to your little knob here, left click, drag it down. Now, it'll go from quietest to loudest. Let's say, okay, I want the first two kicks quiet, the second kick loud, and it quiet afterwards. How exactly do I go about doing that? Well, I guess you could adjust that and then make a new one if you want, want really want to. But the shortcut is if you right click, create a new dot, and you can left click, drag, and adjust that. Uh, maybe left click the ramp here, to adjust the curve of it. And we'll drag, left click, drop that down. So now it'll go up and down. All right. But now let's say uh, I don't want this clip anywhere. How to get rid of it? You right click, delete, go back up. And additionally, if you don't want just to use just this uh, single curve form, you right click, you got lots of other different modes you can choose from. Pass time, stairs, let's say, uh, if we left click that, we have a different waveform, we can left click the middle, uh, and it'll adjust how many, or how quick, uh, the different auto automation, how varied it is, uh, depending on the shapes of the stairs. Or let's say we can go to the double curve, adjust that, what have you. Yeah, just go around and experiment with the different modes. So that's the prominent part of it, of automation that you really need to know. Uh, again, because automation, you can automate pretty much any knob in FL Studio. Uh, anything you see, you can tweak here from the pattern to the mixer. Do all that. Other thing you can automate, it uh, doesn't work with all plugins. But let's say we have an instance of Toxic Biohazard. And I want to, let's say, uh, automate the unison here. Maybe make it a little wider. Uh, and maybe, I think for this one, you can see, you can create an automation clip, but for many synths, you don't quite have that option. So, how exactly would you go about creating an automation clip? Well, let's say, okay, I want to tweak the use in the detune. So, I'll tweak this left knob. Then, I'll go up to my tools. I'll go to last tweaked. Then, once I go to last tweaked, this is the knob that was last tweaked by yours truly. You can go to automation, create automation clip. Have a new one down here. Left click. You see it opens up so now. Say I just play basic C. Just opens up all the way. Doesn't work with every single plugin because I just found out. Tried it with Citrus. Wasn't quite working. But from my experience, I've done it with Silent. Uh, that works pretty well. Uh, Omnisphere, you have to like, do enable it a few things. So if you want to try automating a clip or a certain variable in your synth, but you're not quite sure how to do that, and it's not easily letting you do it with the trick shown here, try Googling it, and there may be the special exception uh, to get around that. So that's FL Studio Automation. Everything you know really quickly. These are pretty much all the tricks I use 99% of the time. Again, if you want further in-depth detail, got some great links down below. But now, hopefully, this is the little 80-20 tutorial that helps you guys Start creating some kick-ass music.